Hey, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about third partying. So for the people that don't know, third party means whenever there's two squads fighting it, you show up as the third party and you start engaging. So the benefits of third party are that usually those two squads that have been fighting, they're going to be injured. They might actually have a man down or eliminated. Um, as far as ammo goes, maybe they're halfway through one of their magazines. You show up, you start shooting. Now they only have half the bullets to, you know, counter your attack. There's there's many things that go with uh, advantages as far as being a third party. And then the number one thing that I like about third party engagements is that there's potential to get a buttload of loot. And I don't mean just cash. I mean armor packs, gas masks, uh, kill streaks, you name it. So. There's always that chance of getting that. And so right here, we kind of hit it big. Uh, check out our cash. So we have 4,300 for shot and 5,400 for me. Now we're gonna go up there and we make, I think another 10 grand off of this engagement. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's check it out. A little bit farther out. Oh, look, we have somebody behind us. Moving out. Our loadout's to the right. Let's see if we can third party him. Got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Uh, damn, that guy has like a grenade launcher. Wait till they're like pretty much wiped. Sounds like they're wiped. Okay, so what you notice, or maybe you didn't notice, but I'll point it out. So I was listening the whole time. I noticed that somebody was using a grenade launcher. That's something just to take a mental note. I know they're using ARs. I don't hear any shotguns, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, just take a mental note though what you hear. I also heard somebody scream. It sounded like, you know, uh, the female character on there uh, had either died or got shot up really bad where it made them do the, uh, you know, where they squealed. And uh, so I paid attention to that and I felt like, okay, this is probably a good opportunity to come in, which it was. There's a guy over here and he's trying to revive his partner. So let's go ahead and put, hit play. Yes. All right, pay attention to how I'm trying to flank the other squad. I don't know if they're dead yet, so I'm gonna treat it like they're still a squad, and I'm gonna walk. Over keep here. looking around. Guy here. Nice. Okay, so we took out both squads. Notice that? That's that's pretty awesome. Now we can collect all the loot, which we do. We get plenty of loot from these guys. Um, we already had good loot already, but we could have even more loot if, just say, we didn't have an already a satchel or a gas mask and all that, because uh, these guys had it. They had satchels, gas masks, uh, cash. But uh, one thing to also consider, just because you third-party them, now, why did we even get into that engagement? Like, how did we even know about it? Well, it was because they were running unsuppressed. So think about it. Uh, my partner right now is running unsuppressed, and we just killed these guys, so there's a chance that we might get third-partied, which actually happens. Two different types of teams. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit play on those. I think it's around... Uh, let me see if I can get the fast-forward to the right spot. I believe it's around here. Got a guy behind us? Behind us? So there's one. Alright, so we got lucky on that one. So that guy, I don't know, he changed his mind. Whether he didn't have the right equipment to take us out or what, um, that was on him. He decided to run away. That was a poor move. He should at least try to uh, fight us out. So maybe he's newer. Who knows? Team wipe. Good, good call on that. Oh shit. Oh. Check it out. Another wolf. Another wolf after us. So uh, here's here's another third party. In front of us. Yeah. In front of us. Damn. Another down. one. Down. Team wipe. I got self revive. No, I got it. Okay. It's all right. You'll make it. Okay. So after all that, we end up getting. Uh, I think that guy, that last guy we killed, he had like 400 cash on him. So we have a total of. Uh, or I have. 12, uh, 1,200, like 900, or 12,900, well, I'm saying that 
well, it's kind of late night, so 12,900, and then Joe had a uh, 4,900. Notice we already have gas masks, uh, satchels, self-revives, so now all that cash can go into UAVs, and UAVs is his own other world. Man, once you got UAVs, you can pretty much hunt other squads, take their loot, buy another UAV, you know, and just continue the chain of just killing uh, and looting, which is always a good move. But you got to make sure you're... you're your squad mates can handle all that because uh, I know a lot of times when I play, they it only it's fifty fifty. The times like we'll, we'll we'll see them on the UAV, but our our squad engagements are still kind of poor, and uh, so we don't always win those, unfortunately. But I just wanted to show you third party how to do it. Um, it's pretty easy, and just make sure after the third party that um, the engagement and you win. Make sure that uh, there's nobody else coming for y'all because that's there is a good chance. You know, people are paying attention out there. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, give me a like, um, comment if you have any thoughts. I mean, how I can play better. I'm always, I'm always up for that.